In this video, I'd like to demonstrate how to fix a non-coplanar plate. Uh, the problem here we can see just in these two plates, I can talk about what happens in a plate. You have to have a plate on one plane. So if we look at this plate here to the left, it's on one plane. And this one on the right, we can see if we look at this here in isometric view, we can see it's sort of twisted. And that's not really allowed here in any type of finite element analysis. So you need to have it all on one plane. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes that's hard to detect when you have a very complex model. So the program will detect it for you when you run the solution. Um, you'll see that Risa 3D gives you a warning message and it will stop and tell you that that is a plate is an issue. But in order to fix that, you have to figure out how to get that in one plane. If we're looking at this in the XY view, it's super easy. Uh, but when we look at a very complex model here, I'm going to open up a complex model. You can see it becomes much more difficult. So in this model here, we've got a lot of plates, and if they're on a lot of different planes, and if one gets out of its plane, we're going to have a hard time understanding how to get it back to its plane. So we have this new tool. We can uncheck the uh, nodes here. We have this new tool called Tools, and it says here, Degenerate Plate Check. So what you can do is if you click on that, um, it will tell you here, it will show you problematic plates or split any problematic plates. Let's see, one for, before we even go there, let's try the, to solve the model. So going under load combinations, if we solve the single combination, which is just gravity, this is the warning that the program will give you. It tells you plate uh, P2146 is non-planar. And that's the first one to get checked along the way. So there may be several, but we just won't know until we fix every single one. But this new tool will actually give us all of the plates that it finds along the way. So using that tools degenerate plate check, we can show problematic plates on our screen. By pushing apply, it will highlight four, it looks like here, four plates that we're finding, non-planar uh, plates, those are the four ones, and it will also detect any poorly shaped plates. If you want to see a list of all of them, if there was more than four, there's a long list, and we wanted to see them in a list format, we could also go, go OK, and go to our, our warning log. So we'll see here listed all the different plate numbers that are not coplanar. So if I zoom in a bit on this one screen here, I'm going to go back in and see. Uh, we can kind of scroll about and we start to see what the problem is. And it looks like, yep, we've got just a little bit off in that. And this one joint here is kind of poking out at us and it's not quite properly formed. So that would be a problem. Um, in order to fix that, that same tool can do that for us. So go to Tools, Degenerate, Plate Check. And we'll see here that there's a split problematic plates. And it will do that automatically. It didn't have to be selected, but it would pick out these plates. And it says it's remeshed four of those plates for us. And we zoom in here and look. And it's fixed this problem by creating some triangular plates. So we wouldn't want to do that for the entire model. But for this small area that we have, it would work out just fine. So we zoom out a bit. And now we can run the model just using our self-weight. And go ahead and say solve low combination one and that will now run through without a problem when we get to the results. So with your tools, degenerate plates check, you can check all of your plate problems with one click.